Hi, I'm Sven from the B-Music project. In the last two videos we created a simple but nice plugin user interface using XParty by Hermann Meyer. Today I want to introduce a new widget toolkit, B-Widgets. B-Widgets is a native C++ library with lots of widgets for music production. You can take benefit of all C++ features like inheritance, polymorphism and so on. This makes user interface programming easier especially for more complex user interfaces. In brief, the principle of bWidgets. The main widget class is widget. All widgets are derived from this class. There is a huge set of predefined widgets with different abilities, and thus different behavior, and different visual content, like dials, sliders, buttons, pads, meters, dialog boxes, and menus. And you can even extend these widgets. It's C++. There is one very special widget class, Window. A single main window takes control about the visibility and the event handling. And in the background of Window runs the Puckle library we will install too. Puckle is a system interaction compatibility library, which is also used by the distro plugin framework, RubTK and others. Widgets which are added to the main window, directly or indirectly, become under the control of the main window. In contrast to many other toolkits, widgets can still silently exist outside the window. You can use this for transfer or later use. One point to take into account, bWidgets is licensed under GPL3+. This means that all projects made with bWidgets have to be free and open source, and licensed under GPL3 Plus compatible licenses. Enough theory, let's start. Again, copy and paste our last project, my MX Party. If you don't have got it yet, you can download all from github.com slash cn slash lv2 tutorial. Then rename the folder to myamp underscore bwidgets and the same with the files. Remove the libx party folder and the shared object binaries. Now we need bwidgets as a subfolder of myamp bwidgets. You can get it from my GitHub repository, github.com slash cn slash bwidgets. There you can either copy the git address, or you can download and unzip it. Take care, bwidgets contain the Puckle library as a submodule. This means you have to do the same with the Puckle submodule. If you use git, then you can call git submodule add, the git address of bwidgets we copied before, and the target path myamp underscore bwidgets slash bwidgets. Then git submodule update minus minus init minus minus recursive. This will also get the Puckle submodule. Then we build the library, go to the bwidgets folder and call make bwidgets. This creates a build subfolder with all library archive files we need and an include folder with the header files. Note, the header file structure inside the include folder exactly matches the header files of the bwidgets folder tree. Thus, the include in the editor works out of the box. No need to tell the editor where to find the include path. The manifest. We only have to rename the URIs by replacing xparty by bwidgets. And the same for the UI file name. The plugin turtle file. Same changes here. Additionally, change the display name. And everything else stays as it is. The same extension data, the same required feature. And the bWidget version works in the same way as the XParty version, with X11. In the plugin C file, only change the plugin URI in the descriptor. And in the user interface CPP file, the same in the UI descriptor with the user interface URI. And in InstantGate, we have to look for the bWidgets plugin URI. Now all of the bureaucratic work is done, and we can start real programming in the header file. Here we did our class definition. And now we can take benefit of C object oriented programming. Our MyMPUI will not anymore host a window and all of its content, it will be a window itself. So we firstly include window. And publicly inherit our MyMPUI class from window. Now our MyMPUI is a window. Then we only need a dial inside. 
Ruby Widgets contains many types of dials. One of this is Value Dial. This one displays a value just below the dial. So we include Value Dial and define a Value Dial Dial. The methods part. We keep the constructor and the destructor as they are. Get tuple level widget is fine too. Get XParty is not needed anymore. Also not expose callback, as the widget contents are drawn by the respective built-in draw methods. And the remaining value changed callback has only got one parameter, a B events double colon event, like all callbacks. Now to the CPP file. First we include the header file. Then we remove the remainings from XParty. In the constructor, we have to initialize the parent class window with the window extends, the puckle parent window, which is the parent x window, cast it to puckle native view, a widget ID, for simplicity we take zero here, the window title, resizable force, puckle module for a plugin, and zero. And dial is initialized with its coordinates, its extends, its initial value, the minimal value, and the max value. Then we only need to add dial via its reference. This is really all to show our dial in our MyAmp UI. Okay, we need a bit of fine tuning. We should only allow moving the dial by dragging and scrolling, not by clicking. Thus, dial set clickable false. And we need to link the dial amended value changed events to our value changed callback by dial set callback function, the event type, and the callback function. Again, we want to use our background image as a background image for the MyAmp UI object. So we use set background. This method takes up a bstyle fill. And a fill can be created from a file. path plus slash file name. Remove the old XParty content and that's it. Inside the destructor, we need nothing, as we don't have any dynamically allocated objects to take care of in this project. So we leave it empty. Get top level widget. We have to ask the puckle backend of our MyAmp UI window. By puckle get native view, which needs a puckle view, and we get it by get view. Get X party is not needed anymore, remove it. Inside port event, we have to adapt the data. It is styles at value and the value. In value changed callback, we need to adapt the parameters as we did in the header file. Then we need our UI which is indirectly provided by the past event. An event contains a pointer to the event eliciting widget, which is our dial. And when we know our dial, then we also can get our connected main window. So we get a pointer to our dial by B which is value dial pointer D is dynamic cast B which is value dial pointer from event arrow get widget. Dynamic cast should always be checked for null pointer return, but in our simple case it's quite safe to skip this step. And we get the main window from D arrow get main window. If UI exists, then we can get the gain from D arrow get value and send it using the write function. Remove the expose callback. And in the idle interface function, we call the main window event handler by my UI arrow handle events. That's it. Some 20 lines less than the XPuddy UI. Time to compile. First the plugin DSP as we did before. Then the user interface. This time I will split compiling and linking in two steps. The lines will get too long to keep an overview, at least for me. G++ and the flex as before. We set the C++ standard to at least C++17. This is required for B-widgets. Also define the use of the chiral version of Puggle. Define the include path package config as before, and minus c for compile only. This creates a myamp underscore bwidgets.o file. Now we need to link the libraries to this file. You can also use g++ to do this. The linker flex as before, the library folder, our.o file, static linking, the three libs from our library folder, package config libs for lv2, and the math library, dynamically link Cairo and x11 and output to myamp underscore widgets.so. Succeeded. Create a target directory, copy the shared object, the TDL files and the background image, and test it.
It works. Next, we're gonna make a fancy graphical user interface for our polysynth with different types of widgets. But before, we still have to solve a problem with the sound processing of this synth. Some waveform sound a bit distorted. Why? And how to solve it? Coming next in the first programming LB2 plugins from Scratch tutorial series. <laughs> 